this video is about calculating the values of the series resistor and the various power ratings of the resistor in the Zener diode when you want to use the Zener diode as a voltage regulator. It's a very standard problem. And here is our problem. So the load requires a 5 volt supply. So let's write everything on as we go. So this here should be 5 volts and a maximum current of 200 milliamps. So this is 0.2 amps because we should know that 200 milliamps is 0.2 amps. Very important to remember that conversion. The supply voltage is 12 volts. What zeta diode and series resistor must be used? So clearly the first thing that we need to do is we need to use a 5 volt Zener diode because the Zener diode and the load are in parallel with each other so they have the same voltage. We also know that Zener diodes need a small current to make them work and in this case I'm going to assume a small current of about 10 milliamps which is 0.01 amps needed for the Zener diode itself. So my question is what is the value of this resistor? What is the power rating of this diode just here? And we're going to calculate those things now. So starting with the resistor, if we have 5 volts across the load and we have 12 volts to start with, then we should be able to work out what voltage is across the resistor. The voltage across the resistor is 7 volts, 12 minus 5. And the current flowing through the resistor is the 0.2 amps which is going this way plus the current going this way which is 0.01 amps so the total current is going to be 0.21 amps 210 milliamps flowing through the resistor so now we can use our resistor equation R equals V over I equals 7 divided by 0.21 so R therefore equals so we need to pull up our calculator so it's 7 divided by 0.21 equals 33 and a third ohms so we will use 33 ohms you want to go slightly smaller so you guarantee there's enough current for the Zener diode to work now let's work out the power rating of our resistor. So we'll work out the resistor power rating. Okay, so the power is given by the equation V times I. So the power for the resistor is the resistor voltage, which is 7 volts, times by the current flowing through it, which is 0.21, which equals... We've lost our calculator. There it is. So it's going to be 7 times 0.21 and that equals 1.47, so 1.5 watts. So that means our resistor must have a power rating of at least 1.5 watts. So we've calculated the resistor value and the power of a resistor, but what about the power of the Zener diode itself? Well, let's add to our diagram what we've calculated already. This resistor here is 33 ohms. Now, the maximum power is dissipated from this Zener diode as heat when the maximum current flows through it. And the maximum current flows through the Zener diode when the load has been removed. So imagine if I disconnected my load and there was no current flowing that way. There are still 5 volts across the Zener diode. There are still 7 volts across the resistor. So we need to calculate how much current is now flowing through the resistor and the Zener diode so we can work out the power rating of the Zener diode itself. So let's do that. So for the resistor, we now use the resistor equation I equals... Well, if R equals V over I, then I equals V over R. And therefore, 
I maximum for the Zener diode equals V, which is 7 volts across the resistor divided by the resistance, which is 33 ohms. We need to find our calculator and do 7 divided by 33, and that comes out to be 212 milliamps. 0.212 amps, slightly more than our 210 milliamps up here because we rounded down the value of resistor to 33 ohms. So that's why it's not 210 milliamps. Now we know our Zener current, so the power for the Zener diode is therefore going to be the voltage across the Zener, which is 5 volts. times by the current through the Zener, which is 0.212 amps maximum. So that equals, if we get our calculator, 5 times 0.212 equals 1.06 watts. 1.06 watts. And we always need to go up a little bit because that's a minimum power rating, so we want at least that, so 1.1 watts. So have we solved our problem, this one that we start with here? Well, I think yes we have, because we know the resistor value is 33 ohms. We know it has to be at least a 1.5 watt resistor, and we know our Zener diode has to be a 5 volt Zener diode, and we know that it must be able to handle at least 1.1 watts of power. So that is our Zener diode and our resistor calculated for our circuit.